Hello and welcome to Flex Fitness. Uh, today we're going to go through a workout um, that's going to hit your chest, your legs, your triceps, and some shoulders. It's a great workout. It's really going to make you hard and push your limits. So I may reference certain weights here, but I want them to be relative to where you are at with your strengths and, and fitness level. Um, so we always want to make sure that those last two or three reps are difficult so that we're challenging ourselves enough. All right. Uh, so part A here, uh, we're going to first start with some barbell uh, lunges. So ideally we would do this in a rack where we can be safe with the weight, but we're going to do a lunge where we're going to do our seven reverse lunges here, and then we'll do seven with this leg. Make sure our chest is up. We're stepping back and getting down to 90 degrees and that that knee is not going past the toe. Then we're going to do some front squats. So ideally for this one here, keep it up nice and high, elbows in, on your shoulders, feet just outside hip width, and we're squatting down, we're gonna do 10 of those. And then we're gonna re-rack that, and we'll go to back squats. Make sure you're below C7 there, a little bump on your neck, nice on, on your shelf. And same thing, keep those knees from going past your toes, and we'll do 10 of those, squeeze your butt at the top, try not to walk up the knees, always have that slight bend. Uh, exercise number four, we'll grab a dumbbell, so I've got a 50 pound dumbbell again, relative to you. This one's called Storks. I like to call them good mornings, one-legged deadlifts. So we can put it in the leg, the weight in the hand of the leg we're working. Keep our head up, squeeze. Ideally we don't touch your foot down, but if you need to, to reset your balance, then we'll go back. And we're gonna do 10 per leg and then we'll switch legs. Uh, if you really want to challenge yourself, you can also go opposite hand to opposite leg. It's going to challenge your core differently, okay? Uh, and then you're going to finish that set off with a 400 meter run on the treadmill. Okay, so the 400 meters is as fast as possible. Okay, that'll be the end of set one. You've got to do four sets of those exercises that I just went through for part A. Okay, so it's really going to challenge you. I hope you enjoy it. Part B, with a barbell, you can set yourself up in the rack or if there's a bench press at your gym, and you're gonna do 10 bench presses. And we're not gonna change the weight here, so let's just say you're using 135 or 95, whatever's relative for you for those 10 reps. We'll do our 10 reps, okay? Then we're gonna get the dip bars or parallel bars, or if you don't have either of those, you can go onto a bench, but I want you to go full range, so we don't wanna do our dips where we're just getting to here, we wanna get all the way down, just past 90 degrees. Not so much that we're gonna aggravate our shoulder, but just so that we're gonna get that full range of the triceps, okay? And you're gonna do 10 of those full range dips, whichever apparatus you choose. Uh, the next one, they're called off push-ups. Uh, so an off push-up here, uh, again, if you need to, you can do this from your knees. I'll show you from my toes. Regular push-up stance here, uh, elbows are going to be kept in about 45 degree angle uh, in line with our chest. And we're going to relax our shoulders. We're going to come down and my chest is touching, hands come up. I don't want my hips touching like this. Just chest, hands, boom. Chest, hands, boom. Okay, so from the knees, same thing. Chest, hands, boom. So the biggest thing is that our stomach and our hips are not touching the ground. It's just our chest briefly, hands up, boom. Okay, those are off push-ups. Then you've got 15 of those. And then we're gonna do 15 regular push-ups. Still relax those shoulders, elbows in 45 degrees, nose to floor, boom. 15 of those. And then we're gonna finish this off with uh, band pullovers or a dumbbell pullover. So with the band pullover, we would anchor it. I'm gonna grab one right here. Now you can anchor this anywhere you like. I'm gonna anchor it here on my machine. And you can do this one from laying from the ground, or if you like, you can bring a bench over. This is a pretty strong resistance band, so you might want to grab a different one. But ideally, we're going to get in here nice and tight, and we're going to pull that over top of our body. And this is going to activate some back, mainly triceps, a little pec minor, right down, okay? And I've got you doing uh, 20 of those, okay? 
So that's one set all through for part B. Grab quick water, and then you gotta do that three more times. So four sets for part B as well. Okay, so this is a great workout. Probably take an hour, maybe a little more. If you find that you're, you're not able to get through all four sets, maybe start with three of part A and three of part B. Okay, but as long as you're pushing yourself. Um, if you have any questions about this workout or any of the other workouts we've done, just click on the link right here and uh, let us know. Have a great day. Flexor Fitness.